Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing for another video. I've done one similar to this uh, a few weeks ago, but with the small block Chevy head. And the question for this video is, does bore size affect flow? Well, on a big block Chevy, you can call it. Because this is a big block Chevy bore, but this would be similar to most of the other big blocks like Ford. Um, but anyway, the two bores I'm comparing are 4310. This would be really common if you had a say a 454 and you bored at 60 over, you'd be a 4310 bore. That's what I have to flow with on this one. I also have a, um, this is what it looks like, but this is a 4625. Uh, this bore is oversized. This is probably the biggest you can go for the big block Chevy. Um, a 46 bore is what you'd have on like a 565, a 582, or a 632. Um, that's the bore size you'd have. So. Unlike the small block Chevy, where really you only went from a 4155 down to 4030, this is almost, you know, more than three uh, tenths of an inch of lift. I mean, not lift, uh, bore size. So a considerable amount of size. Now, if you watched my previous video, you would have saw that I was talking about the Brodix Race Right 270 head that I had ported and flowed. Well, I was just playing around and I wanted to see what it would do on this. So it's like, of all the heads I've done, it's probably the least shrouded one as far as what it should be because it's just got a 225 intake valve, a 188 exhaust valve. It's actually kind of made more for the 4310 bore. So out of curiosity, I'd like to see what it would do on the bigger bore. The customer had no intention of putting on the bigger bore, but it did give you something in, um, informational anyway. All right, so let's look at the results. So sliding over, I'll go through this. So this is this Brodix Race Right head I ported, so it's not how it flows stock. Um, it looks weird because it says one and three, but let me explain. A big block Chevy has a long port, also called the good port, and it has a short port, also known as the bad port. This chart right here is only comparing the good port on a 4310 bore, that's this number, and the good port on a 4625 bore. And what you see here is the difference. So if you see a negative, it lost flow, and if you don't see it, it means it gained flow. So if you look, my the numbers I care most about are the 400 number, which looks to be 257 on a 4310, 281 on a 4625, a gain of 24 CFM. I didn't change anything on the head besides putting on a bigger bore. And then if I look at my other number, I care about 600. 325 to a 353 of a gain of 27 and a half CFM. Quite a bit, quite a, quite a big, big gain. Definitely worth it. So if you're, and then of course I look at the one inch valve lift, 361, 368, gain of seven and a half. Now there's a couple of spots where it lost, and this could be because the bore size itself, I mean, the, not the bore size, but the port size itself so small. So now that's moving more air, it has problems in the port that it didn't have before. Anyway, this might be the answer of what you're looking for is why do we like to have bigger bores than we do so much on stroke? Because stroke really won't affect the airflow because there's, I mean, you could wonder, does having the piston up closer to the valve longer, does it affect flow? It might, but on my flow bench, there's just no way to measure such a thing. But for sure, we could say that usually increasing the bore size increases flow. Now, the smaller the difference, the less there is a difference in flow. But on a big block Chevy, look, I gained almost 30 CFM. The only thing I did was put it on a different bore size. That's it. That's a huge gain. Um, now, the other question you might be asking, well, did it do it on all bores? Will it do it on the short or the bad port? Well, let's look. Sorry for the mess and delay. Here we go. So this is the bad port, on the, um, which is the shorter one. And the reason why is, I'm gonna try to explain. The good port goes like this. It's aiming like this, towards the center almost. The bad port's actually coming in like this. So the port's actually over here or actually it's over here, but it's like that way. It aims air that way, bam. And the good port's actually like here and it goes this way. So there's a huge difference to having it go that way or aiming there right at the bore. So this is the bad port when I'm showing you. So looking at my 400 number again, that's my port one to me. 254, 272, gained 18. So even though not as good a port, still gained. 600 number, you went from a 311 to a 329, a gain of 18. So this whole one, it gained all the way. There's not one spot on the short runner where it lost flow. Now, even if I look at eight, it gains almost 30. And now it's also flowing 374 at peak, which means that's, and by the way, that's the highest flow of even the short and long runner. 
So that's a really good number. So all I can say for this, just to give you an idea, is it gained, it's a gain. If you really want, if you have a 496, you're like, you're contemplating whether you want to do a 540, which would be a 4.5 bore, which I didn't measure. But let's say you've got a 496, you've got your 4250 stroke. If you go and get like an aftermarket block and you bore it to 4600, which granted you're using up most of your blocks, so, but if you did that, you would auto put your other, the same heads back on, they're gonna flow more air. Now, granted, they're probably still, the size wise, it might be too small for the 565, but the heads will flow more. Now, the other thing is, what about the exhaust? Let me show you. This one's shocking. So give me just a second here. I'm trying to cover up the customer's name out of respect for him. Okay. <laughs> this was gonna shock you. Those numbers look the same, right? They're not. That's a 4310 bore. That's a 4625 bore on the exhaust. These are both the exhaust ports. All I did was change it. If you look, they're within the margin of error. You wouldn't really even know that I changed bore size. Cause you look, 125, 127. That's within three tenths. That's within the eight tenths of a CFM. That's within three tenths of a CFM. They're so close, almost identical. So what I could say is on the intake side, you will gain flow on the exhaust side. This one didn't gain anything. So it's definitely more beneficial towards the ex intake side than exhaust side. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I don't, I was going to do a, a quick food review because I think it's fair. Um, I'll do a uh, pizza one, but um, I, I'm just trying to add these in the end because I like to support local businesses because um, I think it's fair. And also I like to eat and people like to eat and, you know, people give us some really bad recommendations and we try to give good ones. My favorite pizza place is actually um, Hideaway. It's it's the chain. It's an Oklahoma thing. But uh, they have a really good pizza and they've got other stuff that's really great too. It's really kind of expensive. Now, some people would say, well, Andalini's is the best. I've had theirs before and it's hit and miss. Really good one time, really not so great the other. And they're very expensive. Um, but and this is going to be your hole in the wall little place. Simple Simon's, which I know is a chain. But in Haskell, Oklahoma, which is a tiny town for all you guys listening to me. I mean, this is a tiny town. Tiny town. Anyway, they have a Simple Simon's there. And they have got a buffet that they have on Sundays. And before COVID, I don't know if they're still doing it. I haven't had a chance to make it back out there. The buffet is amazing. It's got Stromboli, which is one of my favorites. Calzones. And I know it's probably not like New York Calzones or whatever you guys do there. And bacon pizza. I mean, it's just fantastic. Anyway, there's my recommendations. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Um, I hope this gave you some information about bore sizes. Yes, it influ improved flow on the big block side for sure. Um, if you have questions, leave in the comments. I try to read them all, but it doesn't mean I respond to them all. Take care.